the experiment. And here comes the flight crew now. Commander Dick Scobie, followed by Mission Specialist uh, Judy Resnick, Ron McNair, and uh, Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McAuliffe, teacher in space, and, uh, Ellison Onizuka, and payload specialist Greg Jarvis. Big smiles today. Confidently getting into the van. They're going to go out to that pad and uh, attempt a second try. A second, a second try at launch today. It'll take a few minutes for the astronaut van to uh, get to the pad. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. Finally, on July 19th, Vice President Bush made the historic announcement. Barbara Morgan, an elementary school teacher from McCall, Idaho, was selected as the backup candidate, and Krista McAuliffe, a Concord, New Hampshire high school social studies teacher, will be the one to actually fly in space early next year. It's, it's not often that a teacher is at a loss for words. I know my students wouldn't think so. I've made nine wonderful friends over the last two weeks. And when that shuttle goes, they might be one body. <laughs> but there's going to be ten souls that I'm taking with me. Thank you. That's great. Since their selection, Krista and Barbara have been training in Houston. There's been a lot to learn, but they've shown that good teachers make excellent students. During her shuttle flight, in addition to keeping a journal, Mrs. McAuliffe will teach two live lessons from space. One called the ultimate field trip, and the other, where we've been, where we're going, why, which will be broadcast via satellite to schools around the country. 
She will also do a number of other experiments that will be filmed for classroom use after the mission is complete. Her goal? I would like to humanize the space age by giving a perspective from a non-astronaut because I think the students will look at that and say, this is an ordinary person. This ordinary person is contributing to history. And if they can make that connection, then they're going to get excited about history. They're going to get excited about the future. They're going to get excited about space.